product here we're showing is uh, fairly new. How many of you know cut back mastic or linoleum paste or chlorinated solvents? We tell you you got to take up 75, 85% of it to go over. This product is brand new and the product itself goes right over the top of black mastic paste. The only thing we tell you on this product here when you're going over uh, material that is down, if it has asbestos in it, you have to find that out yourself. We cannot guarantee anything over asbestos. So this can be, just a question, so as a, as a product like this, the, the mastic can be nice and it can still be tacky and they don't have to scrape it up at all, it doesn't have to be dry, clean and dry and translucent right. so they can go right over it. When you go over it, the only thing you have to do when you go over it is to make sure there's chunks of wood from popping up the old wood area that's still stuck into the mastic. You want to scrape whatever it is. And remember, the smoother the black mastic is, the more square mileage you're going to get with that trowel. That is a measuring device there. Cleanability here, this will not stick to the finish of the wood. It peels right off from the finish of the wood. As uh, Steve mentioned earlier about isocyanates, there's no isocyanates in this, so this will peel right off from the finish, off from the trowel, cleans right up even if it's month, two months old, it cleans right up. The aluminum that uh, Tony's putting back in there is uh, aluminum that we put in there with a beanie bag, I call it, and then we just put the lid back on, but make sure if you're doing that job to clean up that glue around the edge with a rag, because if you don't put the lid on, you won't get the lid off after it dries.